Lord God, give us rain and a little luck and we'll do the rest. Amen. How's it going, uh, YouTube? Welcome to Four Countries Pipe Smoking. Today, I'm uh, smoking my Bollandus little church warden. It's a little or bow, but actually, I like uh, I like the little bows because there's uh, you know sometimes I got you know not as long to sit and have a pipe you know. This pipe here, it's, it's a pretty good pipe I've had in a little while. It, uh, uh, it's real light, easy to clean to, you know, it's a church warden, it's not too bad. Today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some of the uh, pipe tobacco that I got from uh, at Just For Him over at uh, Springfield, Missouri. It, it's a, my first video back from uh, that trip, and uh, I was just going to share with some of the uh, tobacco that I got from him. I've got most of it jarred up already. I need... Uh, I actually need to get me a few more of the uh, smaller uh, ball mason jars because some of these, you know, I only got an ounce uh, just to try some of it, you know. So uh, I need to get me, uh, well, usually I buy the, uh, however many comes in like a 10, 10 uh, jars per little box or whatever. But uh, actually today what I'm smoking in this uh, ball and dish is uh, one I got from him. It, it's uh, Sutliff. Sutliff Virginia Slice. Uh, and actually I like how they, they put it in their bags so I can, uh, I can just take it and tape it on to the outside of the jar uh, I think it makes it look better instead of just having a little label that I write you know the other one I got I think it I'm pretty sure it's uh, one of their blends a house blend called a red virginia ribbon and i've already had it and uh it's pretty good it's got a real good uh tin note and and so does the uh settler for uh, virginia slice it's actually first time smoking this one the uh settler So far, it's pretty good. That uh, now the Sutliff Virginia slice way I take it is a Virginia Perique, which you know I always like uh, some Perique in my Virginias, and then I'm pretty sure that the Red Virginia Ribbon, their blend is just a straight Virginia, and it's it's real good too. I had it. Um, 
a couple of days ago. And uh, the other one I got is uh, their blend also. It's called a tree beard. It's uh, I'm pretty sure the way I pick up from it, uh, it's got light of key in it. But it also, it's not a real light of key, uh, not a real strong. And uh, it's really got a real good uh, tin note that, uh, of some type topping. I get a sweetness, and uh, it's just got a real good sweet smell to it. And uh, actually, the reason I got tree beard is uh, I got it recommended to me from uh, Sasquatch Piper, too. So uh, if y'all ever get a chance, I know a lot of my subs are, you know, people uh, telling about me. But he uh, gave me a shout out the other day. So a, a lot of my uh, subscribers are from him. And uh, there's a couple other guys that I'll mention in some videos here for too long. Uh, but I, I guess if you want to consider this, this will be my first shout out to Sasquatch Piper. He's, he's a really good guy. I like how he goes out in the woods. And uh, has a pipe and felt like me, you know, just talk about whatever and whatever's going on and uh but yeah so he he referred me to the tree beard and uh so i, I had to get a thing of that i got uh two ounces of it and he wasn't wrong it's pretty good the next couple i thought were pretty cool this is uh going through their shop uh, looking at all the different tobaccos there's all kinds of them the ones that I've been wanting and uh, I've been seeing online on Facebook pages and different things that sell trade and everything uh, the esoterica so I finally uh, got me some esoterica this one, these both was sixteen dollars. This is Tilbury, and then the other one that I got is Dorchester. Both of them are Virginias. Uh, you see, Dorchester's uh, it says a rich full uh, matured Virgin Virginia with uh, Louisiana Perique, and the Tilbury is a broad cut extra mature virginia so i was pretty cool when i seen that i thought uh yeah i'll take two tens of those and uh what was pretty cool really um uh, like i said i would lean more towards virginia's if uh i get the chance so he had the, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Marquette, and I'm pretty sure that it's a English blend. And I thought, well, you know, I'll pick this up, and it was only 10 there. And, uh, you know, I always want to get an Esoterica, you know, just to try it. Everybody acts like it's really good. And uh, so, you know, I just asked him, I said, so I take it what you have on the shelf is what you got. And uh, that guy... He uh, he told me, he said, well, let me look in the back. And uh, he ended up having, uh, I think he probably carried out about six, seven tens of uh, Esoterica. And uh, I went through them and, and uh, picked out these two. And uh, so I was, pretty, I was pretty glad I got to pick up some of that. Uh, I haven't got to... Uh, I ain't cracked the tin open yet or smelled either or one of them. And uh, so. I 
I'll, uh, I don't know if I'm going to let them age. Let them sit, sit on them for a little bit. Or if I'll get, uh, get the itch and just, you know, open them, maybe smoke a bowl out of both. And uh, then jar them. I might do that just so I kind of get that uh, where I'm smoking it now and then letting it sit for, you know, year two, three, and just see how it changes. Um, so, that, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll probably end up opening it just to, just to try it. Oh, and I almost forgot I ain't got to jar this one yet because, like I said, I need to get some uh, smaller jars. But I asked him, you know, like, uh, I said, well, what's your uh, real good uh, aromatic blend that you have that is y'all's blend? And uh, he had this. It's called uh, Maple Rum. And I got an ounce of it. And I have uh, smoked it actually last night. And uh, it's really good. It, uh, you can really uh, taste some maple in it. I get a little bit of hints of, you know, rum uh, taste through it. But it's got a really good room note. Uh, you can, you can really smell it. And uh, it's got one of the really good one of the best ones I've uh, smelt, you know, as far as room notes, and uh, so. But yeah, that's what I got from uh, just for him. So if y'all ever around him, around uh, Springfield, you know, stop in there. It's a it's a nice shop. He's got some shaving kits and different things like that. You know, a men's shop, and then uh, he's got his pipes and the tobacco and then he's also got another part where it's just his cigars and uh i was you know some of these days i want to get around one that's got uh it, he had a lounge and uh there's about three or four guys in there and uh, so i just think it'd be cool one day to be close to one and actually you know be able to sit down and not really know the guys, but just sit down and have a pipe with them, or you know, if they're smoking cigar or whatever. Uh, but uh, I think that'd be cool. Uh, let's see. I, I think it. Yeah, that's all I got from him. Uh, got some uh, good blends from him, and uh, I guess I'm gonna get off here. I uh, hope you all have a good rest of the weekend. Good day at uh, church tomorrow. Um, and uh, start the work week again. But yeah, if you all, uh, like I said, always, if you all got a pipe, sit back and relax and just, it's not too hot today. It I think it's around 82. So you can really come out here and it, it's in the evening today. And, you know, just sit back and just enjoy the little breeze coming through and and just really enjoy your pipe so uh i did want to say uh thanks to all the subs that i have i think uh i'm already up to uh 40 subs and uh you know i think that's pretty cool not to have none and then just within about three or four weeks now i'm up to 40 and uh so still pretty small but you know it, it's uh it's pretty cool to see guys y'all uh comment and uh sub to me and like i said uh this this in here will be a shout out to uh sasquatch piper so if uh if y'all don't know him yeah go ahead and it's sasquatch piper two and uh yeah give him a sub and uh, watch his videos like i said he's he's a pretty cool guy but uh yeah, y'all have a good day and a rest of a good weekend. And till then, keep them lit.